Okay, so you've completed the chemical inventory. You've got a written hazard communication program. You've got all your chemical labeling taken care of. All your safety data sheets are collected and available. Now it's time for the employee information and training. Now OSHA requires that the employer inform employees of the requirements of the hazard communication standard, the use and location of chemicals in the workplace, and the components of your hazard communication program. Now listen up because this is really important. At some point in this information and training, you are going to have to get a real live human involved. And I'm not knocking safety videos, I'm not knocking online training, they're great, they're a great component of hazard communication training, but at some point you gotta get a supervisor involved directly with the employees. You can use a safety video or an online course or some other automated thing to cover the requirements of hazard communication. They're the same at every facility. Uh, but when it comes to the use of chemicals in the workplace and where they are, you're going to need a supervisor to directly train the, the employees. And when it comes to the, the requirements of the company has a communication program, you're also going to need a supervisor there to go over that with the employees. Now, in addition to informing employees of those requirements, OSHA has some workplace specific training requirements as well. The first thing is that they have to be trained on the methods to detect the release of hazardous chemicals. Now, in some industrial facilities, there may be alarms or badges or some sort of sensing material that will inform employees, but for the most part, there's nothing specific to that um, other than maybe smelling a chemical or seeing that a chemical container has been knocked over. Uh, do you know where a great place is to find this type of information about how to detect the release of chemicals? Exactly right, safety data sheets. So go over the safety data sheets. In addition to detecting the release of hazardous chemicals, OSHA requires employees to be trained on the specific hazards of the chemicals in the workplace. And then in addition to that, they need to be trained on the procedures and equipment that are required to protect themselves from those hazards. So detection of chemical release, the hazards of the chemicals in the workplace, and how they need to protect themselves from those hazards. Um, like I said again, training videos are great to cover some of this, but it's going to require some hands-on instruction. I'd like to make another quick plug for Affordable Safety Training's Hazard Communication Compliance Kit. Comes with all the training materials you need, DVD, uh, e-learning, PowerPoint, to cover the basic requirements. It also has a hands-on certification program, so it'll walk you through the hands-on portion of this training that we discussed. Now, whatever training method you choose, just make sure that you communicate the information. It doesn't have to be fancy. It doesn't have to be an expensive video. You can go through it as a handout. You can go, out, go through it just as a regular meeting. But it's really important that you do the training, that you meet those requirements, and then of course you need to document it in writing. Because if you haven't documented it in writing, according to OSHA, it probably didn't happen. 